we could stop this. We could go right now to those on the floor and demand that the rule be changed and we make in order and protect an amendment to the Foreign Ops Approps Bill and the Defense Approps Bill pending on the floor today, uh, requiring and, and, and we could require that any transfer of weapons to Saudi Arabia or the Emirates get an affirmative vote by Congress. We could, at minimum, just uh, repudiate this uh, phony declaration of emergency. And so I'll yield to any Republican member that wants to join me in that effort. As you see, Congress is divided. You have defeated your enemy. Um, the, uh, now, this declaration of emergency is bogus. A court may very well decide that in a few years. And if this one isn't, you can imagine that at some future time there would be a bogus uh, 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 declaration. Um, is there any personal liability that anybody in the executive branch faces if they just decide to um, ignore the Arms uh, Export Control Act or come up with absurd definitions uh, designed to claim to be adhering to it when a court would determine that they had violated. Can you basically do anything you want as long as you can say it with a straight face as a practical matter? Or do you face, or, or do you or anyone else in the administration face any, uh, uh, a, 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 any uh, uh, civil or criminal liability? Yes, please limit your answer yeah, to that thank question. Thank you, Congressman Sherman. So, no, the short answer is no. Uh, we're in compliance with statute. Well, uh, let's say that in some future decision you were not in compliance with statute. Because uh, we don't, uh, would you face any liability or can you violate the statute with impunity should you or your successor choose to do so? I'm not aware of anybody, regardless of branch of government, being able to violate statute at but will. What is, the, what is the outcome if some successor of yours decides to violate the statute? I'm not going to gander it. I'm going to focus on what is legal and not I would legal, hope that legal, you would sir. get legal advice on this, yes. because as extreme as this administration is, it is quite possible that a court would determine that you folks have gone too far, that you have violated the law, uh, that there is not a good faith emergency, and that those involved are deliberately, intentionally violating the Arms Export Control Act. Congressman That's Sherman, this is in compliance with the Arms Export Control uh, you Act. You think you're complying. Many of us do not. And who knows what the determination of some future tribunal or court would be. Uh, we have swung very far in the direction of, uh, of, of presidential power. Um, so uh, the, the, the question here, it, it appears as if you've determined that the emergency is that Congress won't agree with you. No, sir. Uh, well, you told us that you wanted to do. We didn't approve. And so you declared an emergency. Um, if Congress had promptly agreed with uh, your plans, would there be an emergency? Yes. So an emergency are conditions based, and I'm glad you asked that question, Congressman Sherman. Uh, the conditions that we've discussed here today, and we can discuss further in another fora, not only were the threat streams emanating from Tehran, there were the conditions of the readiness uh, of our partners, ensuring our partners that we stand with them. And then there are also the conditions of looking at near-peer adversaries, looking for opportunities. Right. So you decided that whatever policy you want to carry out must be carried out and that anything that prevents you from doing it even for a short time constitutes an emergency. Please read the Constitution. I yield back. Thank you, sir. I've been Thank sworn.